All right, now we have to see how to link PLC and SCADA. All right, now in this example, we are using Micrologix 1400, which is an Allen Bradley PLC. We are going to link that with our SCADA Ignition software. And for that, we just need a standardized LAN cable. All right, this is the only thing we need for this communication. So how to proceed? You need the software RS links in this case, because we know that to communicate the Allen Bradley PLC with the PC, we need RS links. So first you have to make sure your PLC is discoverable by the PC. Okay, so the first step is to enter the IP address in the Micrologix PLC. All right, now because we are going to use Ethernet cable, so you have to make sure your IP address in the PLC should be mentioned. Okay, in our case, the IP address which is inside this PLC is, I'll just write here, 210.110.1.1. That's the IP which we have assigned to my PLC. Okay, so to read the information from the PLC in the SCADA software, the first step is you have to make sure the IP address of your computer. Okay, so go to control panel and open the network and sharing center. Okay, go to change adopter setting and go to your ethernet, go to the properties and see what is the IP address in the system in your laptop or computer. So in this case we have entered 210.110.1.2. So this should not be equivalent to 1. In the PLC which is dot .1 in the laptop should not be one it should be either two or zero this is mandatory subnet mask you can get it by pressing the tab so it will come automatically so you have to make sure your plc uh, pc ip address should be this one if your plc ip address is now uh, let's say if it is 110 all you need to change here is put one here that's it right so in this case the ip address is 210 110.1.1 .1 and this you can enter by using the screen of your of your PLC by using these navigation buttons by going to advanced settings then init configuration IP addresses then init mode static and IP you can put the IP here okay then you have to match this IP with your computer IP which should not be equivalent to but rather should be either one greater or one lesser at the extreme end okay that's we have to link the pc and plc only and to to make sure the pc has been connected to plc you will go to rs links next go to rs links and in that go to communication and configure drivers now in drivers i have already added an ethernet okay but this you can add from here from ethernet devices you can add the device in this case when you double click this one you will find the ip okay now this ip should match the IP address of PLC okay which should be 210.110.1.1 this is the IP address of my PLC so this should match with the IP address click OK and then click close and go to communication go to RSU to make sure your PLC is connected so I can see my PLC over here 210.110.1.1 this has been sensed by the PLC or this will do it again no worry this this you may find this cross but it will take time to recognize the plc okay so this make sure your plc is being communicated by rs links all right so let me try again let me see sorry it should be 110 my mistake no it should find out now PLC has been detected okay this is the second step first step was to put the IP address in the control panel in network adopter second is to put in the PLC and link that okay once your RS links has find out the PLC this this means that your PLC connection is ensured next is you have to open the Internet Explorer and you can type here localhost colon 8088 press enter once you enter that, it will open the local host of your SCADA software. It says, it says Ignition by Inactive Automation. Okay. Now the next step is you have to connect a device. Connect to a device. So click on this point number two. Then it will ask you the username and password. You have to put here admin. And password is the same keyword password without capital P. So just type password. Press login. Now you'll find here some devices are already connected so I'll delete that and I'll show you how to 
add the device from the beginning from the scratch now there's no device here okay we need to add device this we need to add our PLC which is Micrologist 1400 so what I have to do is click create new device now these are the various devices which you can connect in your Scala software so the, uh, the one which I have is this one Micrologist 1400 series PLC if you have logic 5000 you can do that if you have control logic you can click here or if you have Siemens PLC you can select the PLC okay so in our case I'm going to do Alan Bradley Micrologist click here and then go to next now we have to give a name to this device so I'm giving M1400 all right now this is enabled now the host name now this host name is the IP address which is inside the PLC not the PC okay so in this case it will be 210.110.1.1 that's it you just have to put the IP address create new device and then wait for the status to get updated that is connected now it says it says it's connected so this has also detect the PLC so that this is how you have to link your PLC with the Scala software okay now your PLC is linked with RS links it is linked with the Scala ignition software as well so this was the objective of this video how to link the PLC in Scala okay in the further videos we'll see how we'll see the understand we'll understand the design platform of the software ignition and we'll see how to create various buttons and indications to read the information from the PLC all right if you have any doubt in connecting just post me a comment I'll get back to you thank you